Hi, everyone. Can you see my screen? Yep. Perfect. Thank you so much for having us here. Um, I'm very excited to present Mentor. Mentor is a stablecoin platform um, currently on Celo. Um, we've done a spin-off with Mentor Labs from C Labs, the core developer company that is working on Celo, the layer one that is now soon becoming a layer two. And with the spin-off, we now have a dedicated team working um, on and being fully dedicated on, on stable coins. Um, with Mento, we want to build a fully transparent, fully permissionless stablecoin platform. My name is Marcus. Very excited to be here. Um, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions you might uh, have. Um, I now want to show you a bit about the Mento platform. Mento is a platform to launch and operate stable coins on the Celo blockchain. Um, we have already four live stable coins and we, with this spin-off now, want to launch many more currencies um, to enable all sorts of stablecoin transactions to enable all sorts of FX transactions, um, currency forwards, and futures, hedging, and so on, all on the same platform. Feel free to follow us on um, our Twitter account, Mentor Labs, or check out mentor.org. Um, here, um, the um, code will, will send you to our Twitter page. Feel free to follow us. We'll be super excited um, to chat with all of you more about stable coins. I've mentioned that we so far have four stable coins live. Um, these are the Celo Dollar, a Celo Euro, a Celo Brazilian Real, and a West African Franc, the Celo XOF. Um, all of these four stable coins are fully smart contract based, fully permissionless, fully transparent. Um, and we're currently working on launching more currencies going forward. The first ones that we have in the pipeline are a Nigerian Naira, a Kenyan shilling, but we also want to work on a Korean Wong, a Philippine Peso and many other currencies and would be super happy to partner with all of you on to, to work on this. Um, why are the mental stable coins really, really cool? Um, all of these stable coins are mobile first. They are super easy to send and receive via your mobile phone with a very easy user interface. Different wallets have integrated these stable coins. They are very stable, have been in the past. Um, they are um, all over collateralized, so they have more... Um, more collateral than stablecoins outstanding. You can send all of these stablecoins on the seller blockchain. So all transactions settle within five seconds. And the nice feature on the seller blockchain is that you can pay for gas fees in the same currency. So if I you send, um, for example, seller dollar, you can pay for gas fees in seller dollar. If you send seller euro, you can also pay for gas fees in seller euro. Um, the nice thing is that all of these stable coins are highly interoperable um, since Celo is an EVM blockchain that is now going to be a layer two on um, Ethereum. Um, these, these stable coins work on um, all EVM chains. Um, they are all ERC20s. Um, and as I said, they're fully transparent, um, fully based on smart contracts. Um, one uh, important feature um, of the um, of or one important wallet that we have in the ecosystem um, that is currently rolling out across Africa is um, from Opera, Opera Mini Pay. Um, and since this is a demo day, I quickly want to um, yeah demo um, how Opera Mini Pay is working. It's a very lightweight wallet um, that allows you to send and receive stable coins um, via your mobile phone numbers. Okay, you can onboard into this wallet in less than a minute or two minutes uh, just via your phone number. You can then um, integrate your phone book and send stable coins to everyone in your phone book. Really, really easy. 
Um, Opera Mini Pay is currently being rolled out across Africa. It's growing really, really fast. We started in Nigeria, um, then from Nigeria went to Kenya. Next up was Ghana, and coming soon will be also um, South Africa. Currently growing with between 20 and 30,000 users per day. So growing really, really fast across Africa. And Opera also wants to bring this wallet to, to other regions as well. There are other very interesting wallets um, using the cello uh, the Mento stable coins. For example, Valora is another one. They're all uh, mobile first. So it's easy to send and receive stable coins um, with your mobile phone. Oh, sorry. Um, I also want to demo um, how you can basically onboard and offboard into Celo stable coins or the Mento stable coins on Celo. Um, we have, for example, an integration into Squid Router. What you can see here is the version two of Squid Router. With this, you can go from um, any chain, um, for example, from USDT into CUSD, the dollar stablecoin from Mento. Um, and uh, as you can see here, uh, goes super easy. You can link your MetaMask wallet um, and Squid Router basically um, yeah, allows you to go very, very easy, easily from uh, USDT into Solo Dollar. Uh, next. Demo is basically off-ramping. Um, what I want to show here is again, Squid Router. Um, what you can see here is again, uh, by using your MetaMask uh, wallet, how you can um, off-ramp. Um, what we're showing here is now basically uh, going from Cello Dollar on Cello into um, I think on Polygon into USDC or USDT um, works the same way via Squid Router. It works actually in a way where you have almost no slippage, no fees. Um, so yeah, you can go uh, without any fees or slippage from any um, yeah, stable coin into the Mento stable coins, which makes them um, very interoperable. Um, as you can see here um, on the screenshot um, from Squid Router is that you, without any slippage, even can off-ramp or on-ramp um, large quantities. In this example, for example, a million um, USDC into a 1 million CSD. The nice thing with this um, Squid Router integration is that you have a guaranteed one-to-one -one so for market makers that are not familiar, for example, with Mento stable coins, they have a guaranteed on-chain one-to-one into USDC. Um, and with this can, can basically also then easily go into more familiar stable coins. What we want to build out is a platform for many different currencies. Um, we call the feature that users can actually launch their own currencies um, for, for every country in the world, Stablecoin Factory. We will launch Stablecoin Factory um, early next year in Q1. With Stablecoin Factory, you have a toolkit for very easy deployment of new stablecoins on the Mento platform. So no matter if you're in, uh, for example, Nigeria and want to deploy a Nigerian Naira, or if you're in the Philippines and want to deploy a Philippine Peso as a digital asset, you can use the mentor infrastructure to launch your own stablecoin. To launch your own stablecoin, you obviously need, for example, oracles that report um, the value of the local currency on chain. You need um, stability smart contracts. You need minting and burning smart contracts. And with Stablecoin Factory, you can very, very easily use all of these um, on chain. Um, yeah, that's it uh, for, for basically this uh, short demo. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I've shared um, our Twitter handle. You can also via chat.mento.org. Um, join our Discord. Um, we, in the end, look for partners in-country that um, 
have an interest to launch their own stablecoin, let us know if you want to partner on that. Um, and um, as I saw in the chat, there was a question on what the timeline for the stablecoin factor is. We will roll this out in February next year. So Q1 is, is the target. It will be rolled out next year, February. So far, we have these four live stablecoins, the euro, the dollar, the Brazilian real, and the West African franc. And next year, we want to then actually add more currencies. Awesome. Thanks so much, Marcus. Again, just to iterate, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to type over Q&A or type directly in chat and uh, our panelists like Marcus will answer them. Marcus, there's one more. Here. Absolutely. Um, when it comes to fees, um, so basically um, transactions in the Mentor stablecoins are super cheap, so all fees are less than a basis point. In terms of launching stablecoin, this will also be super cheap, so it's basically mostly gas fees, which are um, super cheap on um, on Celo. Um, so yeah, we want to actually uh, provide a very low cost, easy to use, no code factory to launch local stables. Great, thank you, Marcus. Let's wait for a couple more minutes. Uh, while we wait, Marcus, uh, what's the best way to reach you? You mentioned uh, you're looking for partners interested in launching stable coins um, in respect Absolutely. to Absolutely. So you can either join our Discord, which is um, which you can find under chat chat.mento.org. Um, you can also reach out on, on Twitter, on the Mentor Labs, and you can also reach me always on, on Telegram. Um, my Telegram handle is Marcus underscore F. I'm very happy to chat. Um, as I said, we are looking for partners in different markets that want to have their own stable coins to really create a platform with many different currencies on there so that users can um, use these stable coins for remittances, for saving, for lending, for borrowing, um, and so on. Um, since we're chatting about these different currencies, many people also asked in countries, for example, in Africa, where there's high inflation, why is there still a need in high inflation countries for a local stable coin? Um, obviously, when you're in a country where your currency is devaluating, you probably want to have access to a more stable currency, for example, a dollar stable coin or euro stable coin. However, if you want to take out a loan, microcredit, for example, then you would have a preference for local currency, especially when you when you want to build up a business um, or you, um, yeah, your users want to build up businesses and want to take out a loan, then they actually have a preference for local currency. And therefore, there's a big need for local currencies. And with Mento, we want to provide a platform um, that users can, can basically launch their own local currencies. That's super exciting. We actually got one more question from Ananon. Why on Celo, Marcus? So in the end, um, Celo for us um, was the first home because of very fast transactions um, and very cheap gas fees. Um, so the gas fees on Celo are less than a basis point, much less than the basis point, which is important for stablecoin transactions. And then the second big, um, uh, big point here on Celo is um, the feature that you can pay for gas fees also in stablecoin. So if I send a Celo Euro transaction, I can actually pay for gas fees in Celo Euro. So if I'm a user that uses one of these wallets, I showed the Valora wallet or the Opera Mini Pay wallet, they actually don't need any other currency in there um, for paying gas fees. And this is extremely interesting for end user focused applications. Um, and what we can see here, um, rolling out this wallet, for example, across Africa, these are really end user focused wallets, maybe even people that usually don't interact um, on a blockchain, but want to use a wallet for payments, for saving, for remittances, and so on. 
However, with the spin-off of Mento, we actually can deploy um, the Mento platform also on other EVM chains. Celo is a blockchain that is fully EVM compatible. Um, and therefore, all the stable coins are ERC twenties, um, so we can also deploy on others. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you for the audiences who ask questions. Uh, if you want to reach, oh, one more question from Nathan. I think what well, this is the last question we'll take, Marcus. What's the rough forecast of using stables in Africa? So I think especially Africa is an interesting um, continent. Um, here um, we have a large percentage of the po population that have access, for example, to a mobile phone, but we still also have a large percentage of the population that are un or underbanked and don't have access to a traditional bank. And therefore I think Africa for stablecoin transactions is extremely interesting. For example, if you look at Nigeria, it's um, the country with one of the highest crypto adoption rates um, in the world. People are really open um, to try out blockchain-based um, solutions. We're currently with this rollout of um, this Opera Mini Pay wallet growing extremely fast across Africa. Um, and therefore, I think uh, for us, an interesting area. However, we also want to partner with all of you here to roll out um, stablecoin in different currencies in, in all other areas of the world. Makes total sense. Uh, if you have more questions for Marcus, feel free to stand, still send over Q&A and he can answer by typing answers. It's just, he won't be able to answer them live. I uh, really appreciate all the questions. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, uh, Hashki also just sent more information about him and his contact info in chat. So feel free to check them out. Uh, there's also a Notion page that's super helpful. So uh, give it a look if uh, if you're interested in chatting with Marcus and Mental Labs.